Good morning. Coming to you from the road. And we are going on an adventure. To where? Well, you're going to find out soon enough. I've got my coffee. I've got my map. And the road in front of me. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, wait. We need music. Let me hit that play button. exit Jacksonville Zoo that's what we're doing we're going to the zoo we're gonna see some amazing and beautiful powerful animal and then if things work out the way that I'm hoping there's an added surprise this is us they have elephants and giraffes and there's lizards and zebra and I've been wanting to go here for such a long time I'm just very excited to uh, finally be getting to go here. It's about three hours from Charleston. It's really a straight shot. I just got on 95 and I drive straight to Jacksonville. This is this Heckscher Drive. I'm gonna pay attention to the road. I'll see you at the zoo. And it's uh, mixed weather today. So I'm not quite sure if we're gonna get rain or not. But here's the sign for the zoo. All right, I'm walking up to the zoo entrance. I've never been here before, so totally open to uh, what we are going to see. I have a ticket. see here so it looks like we are right here I think and uh, just gonna go in around and uh, just wander looks like right here in the front we have a huge statue of a giraffe so cool look at that huge huge giraffe right in the front and the uh, welcome building has got thatched roof like the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Pretty cool. Looks like we have a bird sanctuary here. We have a river valley aviary. This is like Jurassic Park without the killing and eating and chewing and screaming. We got some beautiful ducks right here. What? Look at this thing. It's got a beautiful blue bill hello I'm just hanging out in the water there's like bamboo here it's like a little bamboo walkway here oh is that a peacock over here Wall drop ibis. Got beautiful, like uh, multicolor wings, like purple and green and red and black. Beautiful. Stingray Bay. Got to rinse my hands. All right, hands are rinsed. Let's see if we can find some stingrays. These are like little puppies, right? Huh. Wow. Like a dolphin skin. Whoa, this is a big one. Hello. A little guy. A little guy right here. They're making their rounds. Ah. Uh, so beautiful. Ooh, he's fast. He's cruising. Oh, you like being pet. I think they like to be pet. They come right up next to you.
a bad start at the Stingray Bay. Let's see what's up this way. Okay, we got Africa back there, which we can do later. Here comes the train. Taking advantage of the time today. All right, wow, look at this. Do we have any lions here? A lot of birds in the trees. Wow. Huh. Oh, you see the lions? Get out of here. They're way over there. Wow, there's a female and a male. There's a lion right here, pacing back and forth. I want something from there. You're beautiful. That was freaking awesome. Beautiful female lion. Let's see what's up over here. And there was a male too. King of the jungle. Wild Florida. Maybe we'll see a panther here. Florida is pretty wild. They have snakes and panthers and bears and gators. Look at that. He's just cruising through the swamp. So green too. The reptiles of Florida. What we got here. Florida box turtle. This one here is the Florida king snake. Super, super long, non-venomous. This one looks like a red rat snake or a corn snake. Oh yeah, red rat snake. And we have some baby, baby turtles here. This might be the largest snake I've ever seen. And it is a Burmese python. Huge, it looks like it has something in its belly. Here we have the canebrake rattlesnake, which we also saw in the Serpentarium, but we got a better view here because he's right up against the glass. Here we have a gray rat snake. This one is the Eastern Indigo, which we did not see at the Serpentarium, but it is really impressive looking back there. You can't really see it that well in the shade. Got that green muck all over you. Making the move. This guy right here should turn around. He is huge, but I can't see the rest of his body. Still in the wild Florida exhibit. And there is a beautiful bald eagle here. And a lot of these animals are rescued and rehabilitated. So for them to be able to have a safe place, it's kind of, uh, this exhibit doesn't really have any top on it. So I'm thinking that these guys are so hurt, they can't fly out of here. So they're just going to hang out. It's all right. You'll get back. You'll get back. Just need some time to heal. The other bald eagle came over to hang out with his mate here. Hanging out and just sitting on a branch together. You guys are beautiful. I spot a fox or are these coyotes. I think these are coyotes. Yes, we have these in our neighborhood. Hey, little dude. Okay, we've got some bear here. He's black bear. These guys are all over. Can you see him back there? Hey, Mr. Bear, all over, all the way down to Florida, Panhandle, all the way up around Canada and Alaska. When we were in Alaska, we encountered a wild bear in our canoe on the beach, and it was spectacular. Snakes are clever. Snakes are fast. If you see one, let it pass. That's good wisdom right there. Oh, giraffes. So cool. A 
Wow, we can feed them. That's awesome. I've never fed a giraffe before. There they are. Oh, and there's an elephant. Looks like an African elephant over there. Oh, wow. Huge. I'm so excited. I'm going to be able to feed a giraffe for the first time. They're just so beautiful and majestic. Wow. Look at her over there. So gentle. Okay. Beautiful. Hi, Luna. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, you're so beautiful. You want another one? I've never been this close to a giraffe before. Wow, beautiful eyes and your ears. Bye, Luna. You look beautiful resting your head there. Good, you got more food coming. Wow. Look at her just eating with her beautiful tongue sticking out. Luna. So it looks like they are feeding. They have their little sections. There's one right here. You can see the basket with some hay in it. Grasses, trees, things like that. Luna, Luna finished her feeding and she came over here to see again. Hi, Luna. You gonna get a little something extra? A little nosh. Statues of elephants. Looks like African elephants continue on <laughs> we have an african forest here <laughs> all right see if we can find some animals at the african forest here we go i like how everything just kind of loops around so you go in and you just walk Oh, there he is, Bonobo. Look at you. Hey, little dude. Nice to see you. Come on over. Can you see? Right there, hanging out. Hi. Here's an up close Bonobo. Just hanging out. You got your legs crossed. Hi. Nice to see you. Rest in. I took a break to get some lunch and I got this thing here called the piggyback and it's chicken with uh, some kind of crunchy looks like a pork rind coleslaw barbecue sauce and then fries on the side this looks amazing it's a really huge portion there's my hand yep that's definitely bacon it's all hot and really these fries are super hot, came out of the fryer. Now here we have range of the Jaguar. Wow, I've never seen a Jaguar. Big fish. Look at how tiny fish are. Whoa, that's a really big one. Jaguar power. For many, jaguars are ma magnificent creatures that represent strength, power, mystery. Their name, <laughs> Yawar, is an Amerindian term meaning a beast that kills its prey with one bound. Let's see if we can find him. Huge fish here. Oh my hand. Huge fish. Giant Paku. Okay. This is cool theming. Lost Temple. Let's see here. We're going in. Scary. The Lost Temple. Ancient people of the Neotropics built pyramids where they worshipped gods and ruled their communities. After they were abandoned, the forest reclaimed these ancient stone structures. Let's go around to the right. All these kind of go in a big circle. Oh, I didn't see the frogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Here's an Amazon basin tree boa, if you can see, but... Right over here on this tree branch, you have a caiman lizard. See him? It's kind of like camouflaged right there. 
So cool. Just hanging out in the Amazon. The theming in here is really neat. It's like Amazon like temple. Give them an A plus for their theming. Here we have an anaconda. Non-venomous constrictor. So they will constrict their food, take the life out of it, and then swallow it whole. I was looking for the jaguar and I didn't see him, but I took a second look and I got him right there. You see him sleeping? Or her? Beautiful. Sleeping out that hot Florida heat. Right there. Good kitty. Good. Another cool little missed detail here, which I said the theming is amazing here, but they have little cat paw prints or big cat paw prints on the ground. Jaguar prints that lead you down the trail. Pretty neat, good detail. We're here at the Emerald Forest. If this lush green forest enchants you, you're not alone. Check it out. Look at this guy here, sitting in his food bucket. That's a cotton top tamarind there, climbing through the trees. I gotta remember to look up and make sure I don't get good luck poured on me. But look at these two macaws here. They're huge. I used to have one when I was younger. It was a yellow neck macaw. I looked just like him. Look, looks just like them. Maybe a little bit different colors, but uh, her name was Gypsy. Here we have the Caribbean flamingo. And as I've said in the past, they get their coloration from shrimp. These kind of have an orange pink look to them. We're coming up to River Trout Plaza. Looks like they're gardens. Beautiful fountain here. Look at that. With a beautiful bird. Overflowing fountain. That's nice. Looks like up here is the Asian loop. I haven't even seen the Australian part yet, but there's tigers up here. Welcome to Asia. Over the next several years, Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens bringing Asia to the first coast. Once completed, 12 acre site will be home to tigers, sun bears, cranes, river turtles, and varieties of bamboo. Look at that bamboo. Wow. Almost blocks the sun out. This looks like a really cool place to explore. A nice bridge here. Wow, the koi in this pond are enormous. Probably the size of a bass. Wow, that's really something. This is the most peaceful, most peaceful part. Look at the size of those koi. They're huge. They've got to be 15 pounds. Be a cool place just to kind of hang out and take a load off. By the way, lunch was spectacular. For a quick service place, my sandwich was so hot and delicious. I'd go back there in a heartbeat. Hey, little guy. You're a good dude. Huge. Don't slip. This is my hand, and that is the lizard. This guy is huge. It's got to be five foot long. Careful. Careful. I was looking for the name. It said Komodo Dragon. He's just being a Komodo over there. Oh, he's got chicken legs. He's got his legs all laid back like a dude. That one's got to be seven feet long. Easy. And he's just hanging out, getting some uh, me time. There's something so relaxing to me about walking through a zoo and just like exploring. It's almost like you're with nature. Look at them playing over there in the grass. 
These are uh, Asian small clawed otters. They are not meerkats, but they are so cute. They're just rolling in the grass. <laughs> I found a kitty. He's up there. He's, I don't know if you can see him, but he's got his face all pressed against, face is all pressed up against the fence. You can see him right there. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is my first time seeing a Sumatran tiger. I don't know if you can see him over there. He's right over there. Beautiful. I guess they just hang out most of the day and rest. Wow. This is very close. Hey, beautiful. Hello. So beautiful. Sumatran tiger. Beautiful. Come back. Looks like I took a detour to Asia when I thought I was going to Australia. I think we're back on the path now. See Australia right up there. Let's go check it out. It's just so peaceful. What the heck is this thing? Hello. Um, hi. Are you, are you doing, am I interrupting something? I'm not quite sure what's happening. It looks like you might be itching your belly. Hello, Mr. Bird. You're itching your belly right on that log. It's pretty inventive. I think I'd do that too if I didn't have any arms. You're beautiful. Hello. Hello. Take it easy. Wow. What is it? I don't know. That's a big bird. Hello, Mr. Bird. This is a southern cassowary. We'll eat almost anything, including fruit, rodents, wow, birds, reptiles, and fungi found in dense jungles, low swamplands, and rainforests. Northeastern Australia. Huge, huge bird. Giant crown on its head. Wow back there was saying the caraway is one of the most dangerous birds oh let's go see what's in here lorikeets let's see if they come see if they'll come and visit oh hello hello mr. bird you want some you want some some food hi you want some oh here you go Oh, you're beautiful. Look at you. Hi. This is an interesting experience. Never done this before. I did have a bird growing up, but this is really something. Thank you. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. You want some? Here, you want them? Here you go. Here you go, little. Little bird. Very good. Your colors are just amazing. Okay. My battery died, so I had to charge this, but now I'm in Africa and uh, we have African elephants. Look how beautiful. Hello, Mr. Elephant. I have a squirrel sneaking up on me. Hello. Hello there. Oh, don't. Hi. Are you trying to like come on top of me? What the heck? Oh you climbing on top of me. Hey, I'm gonna call you Chip. Okay, back to the elephants. Hey, African elephants are just so huge, powerful, and amazing. They have a huge area. There's one way over there. I think I think she just wants to be close to me. Come on over. Little elephant, get some water. It's just amazing. And the smell, smells very fresh. Aw, beauty. 
All right, you leaving? Okay, see you. Still in Africa. They've got a crazy looking green swamp over here. And uh, don't see any alligators, but there's some black rhino straight over there. Wow, huge. Can you see them? Right there, and there, and there. And then there's a bunch of birds there. And then there's this crazy tree filled with African birds. Looks beautiful. And they're all nesting. Oh, there goes one now. Look how close the rhino. The rhino are just right there across the water. This zoo is amazing. Hey guys, at this part of the video the audio got messed up so I'll just do a quick little voiceover. So I'm getting ready to wind this video down and there's just a little bit left before I go on to part two which is the Caddyshack Ranch. In this part I was trying to point out the antelope straight out there but can you see they're kind of far away so you can't really see them I'd definitely come back there, there were so many animals um, you had the African lions the female and then they had a male that looked like scar from the Lion King you had black rhinos we got to feed a giraffe ah I mean petting stingrays just amazing amazing and I, I was thinking about not getting up this morning. But yeah, I was, I was just gonna sleep in, but I forced myself to get up. But I think if you do, I think if you force yourself, sometimes in the back of your head, you think you're gonna maybe do something. And you say, nah, I think I'll just hold off. Don't hold off. Time is not on our sides. We need to take advantage of things like this. I think it's important because you might not do it and then you basically like they say time is the old bald cheetah time is never on our side and so you just take advantage of trying something new like this and I was presently surprised it was much bigger than I thought it would have been I'm coming back and now on to the next if for some reason I don't get into the Caddyshack rescue which is a huge big cat rescue I have to say that uh, I'm going to end this video now. Hope you enjoyed seeing all of the amazing, amazing animals. And um, we'll see you in the next one. But if not, we'll see you in like 10 minutes. Hopefully I can get in. See you in a couple minutes when I get there. If not, bye dudes.